run away. Well, uh, I've been invited in today to Somerset Park here. We are on the boardroom again. And this time it's to speak to Willie McCulloch, um, who many of you will know is the chairman of the AU500 fund. Um, good morning, Willie. How are you Bye. doing? Yes. <laughs> Just a quick reminder for anyone who's been off the planet for the last couple of years, um, what is the EU500 fund? The EU500 fund was set, set up by a group of supporters. We felt as though the club needed a boost and all the monies go, which is unusual, goes to the players fund. If, if the club needs, uh, we have got all the guards in the club and as directors as such, so it's what the fans can do for the club and putting money and it goes directly into the players fund. Okay, right. That's it directly to the players fund. It doesn't go to any of the other bits, um, which are like looking after the club, paperwork, whatever. None whatsoever. Every penny goes to the players fund directly. Right. Other clubs, um, for example, Dunfermline Athletic have similar schemes. What is different about ours? The Area United 500 fund has no overheads whatsoever. The fund has no admin costs, it's no overheads, no honorarios. Every penny donated by a member goes directly to the club. The, the committee set up cover all the costs, internet costs, anything like that. So every penny donated goes directly to the club. So people like yourself on, on your board um, actually helps to pay for everything covers else? Covers all the costs, all the costs. Every penny donated goes directly to the club. Every penny. Oh, how is the fund actually doing? Well, since the end of the season, especially when we won the league, we had a great influx of new members. When we signed Lauren Shank, there was another increase, and to date we have 138 members. It nearly doubled in size within the last three months, which was just incredible. There is really a buzz going around the club and, and what you've actually done has really helped the player budget. Would you think of yourself when you're doing this thinking things like Shankland, we helped with that. Does that, does that help you? Well, the money goes to the manager's players fund. We, we have no influence whatsoever. It's for him to use to see, see fit. If that money has helped keep a player, of the existing players at the club, it's been a great success. Right, on Saturday, uh, I saw you out there on the pitch, there was a presentation, it was another cheque to the club from the fund. How much was that for? That cheque was for £8,000, which seems a substantial amount, but most of that money, a substantial also came from the Kaiser night. We held a race night, they held it and they raised the fantastic sum of £2,543. Not forgetting the 43 pence as well <laughs> on the night, which myself, Jamie and Director Mark Pettigrew attended. Mark was concerned in the evening because he kept asking us why his horses started from a kneeling position. We told him they were resting before the race, but I can't thank the Kaiser lads enough. It was an incredible night and an incredible sum of money, £2,543. I think another great thing about that as well, it had a fantastic atmosphere that night, the race night, Jake. But it's how much money that fans were willing to donate to things like that. Really is necessary for a club like here. It is, it is. Every penny, penny helps. And I, I can't emphasise enough, any one-off donations that go into the fund as well, eh, there's no overheads. Simple as that. Now there's another thing, I know you mentioned this to me before we started, uh, was the wonderful single by the Seaside Sons. Yes. Um, they've added to your budget, haven't they? They have as well, and I believe it's a chart entry. Uh, uh, we raised, and if you donate to it, if you go through the link instead of iTunes, the, we get, the money goes direct to the fund, and today it, it has raised Two hundred and thirty-two pounds, which is just incredible for a one off. Yes, uh, you said the chart thing there. Yeah, got into the national charts and also number one in the Asia charts there we right are. Now for a couple of weeks or so. So great for the fans for doing that as well, but they still have that opportunity. Yes, it's still there. Now, 
The fund has been a great success, as you're saying, the amount of people have started joining it. How do you see it going forward? Well, more members is, is one way, but we're looking for, how can I say, help with admin as the fund gets bigger, we're all volunteers and most of us are working, uh, whether part-time or part-time. We feel as though the treasurer gets a lot, uh, should get a lot of credit, uh, Robert Ritchie, for all the work he does. We're looking to help, if any member of the fund could help us with our PR or admin, to keep, uh, keep the members of the fund informed what, what's going on. And just thank you for today, for giving us the opportunity to explain how, how the fund's doing. And I must mention the previous chairman as well, Rowan Withers, for all his work in setting the fund up, up and due to business interest, he had to uh, give up the chairman's job. Yeah, he did a fantastic job. Has it been a good time for you so far? Yes, it's been fine. I've uh, had a mobility problem with, with the car, but other than that, everything's going in the crest of a wave as far as the fund. And it's over, it's £2,500 a month now, is what we're donating, which is just incredible. Wow. Okay then, just to finish off, um, if anyone wants to sign up for the fund to help donate, or to volunteer for help, how do they actually contact you? Just the, the AU500 fund on the internet and the links are all there uh, or they can check the club shop or that and I can't emphasise this enough other funds uh, every penny donated goes direct to the club simple as that and, and the players players budget yeah absolutely fantastic you're doing a great job well I thank you to you and everyone from the uh, of the EU 500 fund and let's hope it goes from strength to strength. Thanks very much.